you got going on over here, Jess? We got, I think it's a yellow eye. No, it's a rockfish. Last day of the trip. Came back outside hoping for some big halibut or lingcod. Much nicer day today, just almost grease out here. So we got high hopes for big fish. Ah, oh, just switched from the big jig over to a Lucanus. First drop, it got hit. Swam right down. Really? You gotta spin everything up? Woohoo! I will take it. One of the very cool things about a place like this, you know, we don't kill a lot of fish, but man, these are good eating. So they will fillet it up, vacuum pack it, pack it all up for you, and send you home with a nice box of fillets. So we'll have some good eating from this guy. Lingcod is delicious. Oh, nice, oh, really? dude. Little ling ling ling, little ling 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 ling, sweet. Yeah, I just uh, tried the new new lure, dropped it to the bottom, felt a couple taps, and it worked like a dream. So we're watching the boys here. Oh, little uh, vermilion, little color. Nice. Having the electronics out here is just makes life so much easier. I paddled in, saw a hump. Saw some bait over the top of it, drop, instantly hook up. Man, it's so nice to have this Ray Marine Dragonfly on my kayak. And the way I have it set up, kind of portable, and with the cracking, it's just so easy to rig up. Nice rig for fishing this. I'm using this six and a half century jigging rod. Because I'm fishing vertically right next to the boat, it's very comfortable to fish with. It's really light, good pulling power. And on it, I've got my uh, Jim Salmon's Truth Reel. You know, for the small fish, it's a little overkill, but you never know. Here, you might hook into a big halibut, so having a little bit bigger reel, even though some of the fish aren't that big, is really nice. I got it loaded with 80-pound Seaguar Threadlock Braid and then 60-pound Seaguar Fluorocarbon Leader because, again, you might get into a bigger fish. So really comfortable setup, really fun to fish with, and we are having a ball. Taking out the side of the boat and picked up a nice little link hood. Oh, here we go. This was on the drop. Feels a little better. Oh, yeah, this feels better. Nice, huh? They're just such cool looking fish when like that. Yeah, nice fish. This little yellow eye. That's fun. Fish! Some days you just need to go catching instead of fishing. Oh, come on. Come on. We hit it off really well with James, um, our guide on this trip because very like-minded. Uh, we, we felt the same way about species protection, catch and release, keeping some fish. I mean, we're all on the same page. We've done a lot of the same things. He's done a lot of traveling to fish. We travel a lot to fish. So there was a lot of connectivity between us. Well, I think when we, when we take a look at what we were able to achieve over the last couple of days, we caught five or six different species of rockfish. Included in that were some nice vermilion and some yellow eye. Uh, we managed to pick up a few ling cod as well. And we managed to get some halibut off the boat while those guys were kayak fishing. And a great thing about being out there is you never know what you're gonna have on the end of the line. Hmm. Hour ago, this fish was right out there. Now it's in my belly. The fishing that we've had, even when they're saying it's the slowest year they've had in eight years, we had great fishing and had a great time. Um, the wildlife, you know, I, I've never been up close and personal with bears and we had that a few times. Uh, I've never paddled right next to sea otters and uh, I was able to do that on this trip. And 
just caught a lot of fish and hung out with good people and everybody here was so nice and welcoming. It's, a, it's an incredible, incredible location.